السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعة من يطع الله ورسوله فقد رشد واهتدى ومن يعص الله ورسوله فقد ضل وغوى اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار قال تبارك وتعالى يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما I begin in the name of Allah and sending blessings on our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I bear witness and testify that there is none worthy of worship except Allah and I bear witness and testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last and final messenger of Allah. My dear respected brothers, sisters and elders, 
I'd like to begin by sharing with you a story and more of a question that I received from a community member and also a friend. He asked me this question that, Sheikh, we live in this country and alhamdulillah, most of us are well off. We're making good money. We have good careers. And everything is going smooth and well, not like the way it was back home. Specifically in his case, he says that I am a physician and every minute, every hour matters to me. And he says, I make a lot of money. Like many professionals, alhamdulillah, who are settled and established here. He says, for me, time is value. And time is of the most important, precious thing that I have. So he asked this question that I don't have much time in my life. And we all struggle with a lot of this. We all are struggling to keep up with all of the things that we have going on in our lives. Sometimes it's very hard for us to manage. He says, in order for me to give to everything in my life, I have to cut off on certain things because of the time and because I have so much going on. So he asked, so he asked and he said, should I continue to do my work and make money and take that money and give in sadaqah or charity? Or should I cut my work time a little off and a little less and dedicate my time to community work, to family, as well as to my religion and to my faith? Now understand that if I work more, I make a lot of money and I can give much more sadaqah and charity but I won't be able to give my personal time. I won't be able to physically give my time to community, family, as well as religion and masjid. Whereas on the other hand, if I do that, I will be able to give more time over there, but less money. This is an interesting question. It's a unique situation and unique scenario that sometimes I find myself in and most of us would find ourselves in. We only have 24 hours. Nobody has an extra hour, extra day, extra week or extra month. We are all limited to the same time and sometimes we all struggle with time. And sometimes we don't know how to keep that balance. What should I do? How should I manage? So I said to this brother, my brother, it is very important, again, that I just said to you, it is very important that you keep and you, that you maintain that balance between these three things, your work, your family, your community, and your deen. Because even when it comes to the life of the Prophet wasallam, he taught us this important lesson. He says, إِنَّ لِرَبِّكَ عَلَيْكَ حَقًّا وَلِنَفْسِكَ عَلَيْكَ حَقًّا وَلِأَهْلِكَ عَلَيْكَ حَقًّا فَأَعْطِي كُلَّ ذِي حَقٍّ حَقَّهُ A hadith which is found in the book of Bukhari, a conversation that took place between two companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Salman and Abu Darda radiallahu an. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam agreed upon this and he says that remember and know that your Rabb has a right, your family has a right, and your soul and your nafs and your body also has a right over you. So it's very important for us to maintain that balance between these two or these three things. So the answer that I gave to my brother that it's okay to take time off on the weekend or on vacation even though you may be making less money, but it's not always about money and giving. It's also important that you physically go out and give your time. It's also equally important that you physically spend time with your family and your children. And you physically give your time to the masjid, to your community and to your deen. 
And why am I talking about this important topic, my dear respected brothers and sisters? Because we find ourselves in this season of holidays. We had the Thanksgiving, we get off from work. We have another holiday coming up. Most of us will be off from work. Everyone will most probably be taking some time off. So it's important for us that you remember that it's not always about work. You have to take out time for family and for your children. And also at the same time, you have to maintain that balance. A lot of times we are on the other side. When we go on vacation, when it's time off, when it's the weekend, we completely forget Allah. We completely forget our time that I need to give to the community, to our religion, maintaining that. When you go to work, you don't have to just ignore everything. And when you're off from work, you don't have to ignore everything when it comes to the deen and the community as well. And this is a very important lesson because the Prophet says in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Taha, verse number 132, and in many places in the Quran, He says, وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ وَاسْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا لَا نَسْأَلُكَ رِزْقًا نَحْنُ نَرْزُقُكْ وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلتَّقْوَى He says, and enjoin upon your family the prayers and to be steadfast and firm upon the prayers. وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ And enjoin upon your family the prayers وَاسْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا And to be steadfast and firm upon the prayers. لَا نَسْأَلُكَ رِزْقًا نَحْنُ نَرْزُقُكْ We do not ask you of any provision. We will provide for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says نَحْنُ نَرْزُقُكْ We will provide for you. So my brothers and sisters, it's important for us to understand that a lot of times we do things, we only look at one objective. If I give sadaqah, I think that it's helping the poor. If I'm giving money to my family and my children, I think that all of their things are taken care of. No, you have to do things for your own sanity as well. When you give sadaqah and charity, it helps you before it helps the poor and the needy. Because it allows you to understand what's important and what's priority in life. It allows you to maintain and to keep that balance in life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the ability to understand the teachings of the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to inculcate these values and to implement them in our lives. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Quran al-Majeed wa anfa'na wa iyyakum bil ayati wa al-dhikr al-hakim innahu huwa al-ghafur al-rahim. الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ما كثين فيه أبدا وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم ولا لآبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم إن يقولون إلا كذبا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أيد الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد عليه الصلاة والتسليم وجعلنا منهم واخذل من خذل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجعلنا منهم اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباع وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتناب اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتوب والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية والمعافاة الدائمة في الدين والدنيا والآخرة عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغ يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون أقم الصلاة